back to my channel. I thought I would pick up the camera today and vlog. It's been a little bit weird not vlogging since I did it for 25 days in a row for Vlogmas. It's just been a little bit strange. I'm so used to picking up the camera and taking you guys along with me on my day and I know the holidays are over but I thought maybe just to kind of wrap up the year I would sort of do an end of the year vlog. Jonathan and I are actually planning a 1920s prohibition themed New Year's Eve party and we're both really excited about it. It was one of our favorite eras besides the 50s. 1920s is just such a neat era. I love, I have like my flapper dress already picked out. I've started getting the decorations and all that good stuff. So yeah, I just thought maybe I would kind of do a vlog just the days leading up to the party, New Year's, and then also film some of the events at the actual party itself. I'm not feeling great today. I just, I don't feel well. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. So I'm kind of in a sluggish mood. You guys saw I had breakfast this morning, which was a double protein English muffin with some low fat cream cheese. And then I also had some coffee with my pumpkin spice creamer. That was delicious, great breakfast. I feel like I need some fruit though. Our bananas are not ripe yet. I do have some clementine oranges, so maybe I will grab one of those. Today, I'm really just going to be playing catch up. I've kind of had a lazy couple of days where I haven't really done that much in terms of just the business side of things, writing, editing. I feel like I have done quite a bit with YouTube, so that's good. But I also want to start working on my planner for 2017 and just getting everything written down, all the dates. I need to book my flight and the hotel for BookCon in June. So that's something that I'm going to do today as well. And also get a workout in upstairs just to hopefully make myself feel better. It sucked because when I woke up this morning, my mind was awake and I felt inspired, but my body does not feel that way. My body feels just run down and tired and it's just not where my mind is. So I hate when I have days like this because my mind is like, go, go, go. My body's like, just lay down, don't do anything. <laughs> But I'm gonna push through it. I'm going to take an Excedrin. Hopefully that will help a little bit. I'm gonna drink lots of water, lots of orange juice, and push through it. So I guess I will get started with my planner. All right, so as you guys know, I did get an Erin Condren planner for 2017, just because I like the style, more of this binder style with the tabs, and I really like how much more space there is to write for the days. But one of the things that I did love about my passion planner was that it had a passion roadmap and to create your passion plan. And I really liked that, and so I wanted to use one of the blank pages in my Erin Condren planner to make a passion plan. And ignore this little thing at the top, I have to remind myself the last time I dyed my hair so that way I don't let it go too long. Sometimes I don't always look at my roots and it can get really faded really fast. So just ignore that top thing. It's just a reminder for myself. But this is part of the passion roadmap. So what you do is you write wish list in the middle and then you go ahead and write the date, today's date that you're you know doing this. And then you have four separate boxes. So you have lifetime, three years, one year, and three months. And basically what you do is you write down everything you're wishing for or kind of what your goals are for your lifetime in three years, one year, and in three months. So it's kind of a vision board in a sense, or more of a word board for what you want your life to look like at each of these intervals in time. And I never did this until I got the passion planner because I didn't even really think to do it, but I loved the idea of it and I wanna do it every single year so that way I can look back over the years and see what types of things and what type of lifestyle I was wanting to live over the years and just see how much it's changed or evolved or maybe it stayed the same. But this is just a great tool. I always like to tab it so that way you can just flip back to it whenever you want. And it's just a good visual representation of what you want your life to look like and it's a good reminder. And as someone who uses their planner every single day, I look at this and it just reminds me that this is what I'm striving toward, this is what I'm working toward, and what steps am I going to take today to get me closer to where I wanna be. Okay, so I just got ready, again by ready. I feel like I'm always wearing this jacket, but it's finally cold outside. Please ignore everything behind me. Our garage is a mess. But I am about to hop into 
my car. All right, so I'm headed to Petco, possibly Hobby Lobby, and then Specs. And then I need to pop into Walmart as well. So that's four stops. This is gonna be a long little journey, but I need to get all this stuff before our New Year's Eve party. And I also need to get the dogs some food. So off we go. In my life, show me. I just got home not too long ago. It's me. I just got home not too long ago from all of my errands. I got everything that I needed to get for the most part. I always forget a couple of things when I go into Walmart. I get distracted really, really easily. But we have plenty of, as you can see here, alcohol. I bought some ginger beer and vodka so I can make, and limes so I can make Moscow mules. I also got these really cool cups they're gold and silver so they kind of go with the whole 1920s theme i need to go take out all the decorations that i ordered as well from amazon and just start kind of thinking about all of that and starting to put it together in my head it's lunchtime and i haven't even eaten yet so i need to make something not really craving anything and then i'm going to go upstairs and get a quick leg and ab workout in i kind of started my fitness routine earlier than the new year because I'm like why wait let's just go ahead and start now so I've already worked out two days in a row I did chest shoulders and triceps the first day I did back and biceps yesterday and today is legs and abs tomorrow will be chest shoulders and triceps Saturday will be back and biceps and I am going to make Sunday a rest day since it will be New Year's Day and I'm sure we're going to be tired after staying up so late from the party and then it'll be back to it on Monday okay so now I really need to find something to eat I am going to eat this whole thing, not even ashamed. So I'm still reading First Life by Gina Showalter. I was hoping I would have it finished by now, especially before the end of the year, because I really wanted to read Queen of Shadows or just another book by Sarah J Moss, maybe A Court of Thorns and Roses, but that didn't happen. I had a lot of stuff going on at the end of this year, so I'm still reading First Life. I'm just not 100% sure how I feel about it just yet, and I might end up not finishing it, but I wanna give it a shot because I think there's a really good storyline. I just, I don't know, the writing's just a little bit different for me and it's kinda of hard for me to get into. But I'm hoping that it'll get better and that I will enjoy it more. I've been working on something well into the afternoon and I guess we're kind of getting into the evening now, but it's something that I wanted to finish before 2016 was over. And it's something that I've been thinking about for a little while. And actually you guys are probably gonna figure out what it is as soon as I say this, but I had a very positive response to the hashtag author life shirt that I wore in my video a couple of weeks ago. If I can find a picture of the t-shirt, I'll put it right here or I'll leave the link to that video right here. But I had such a positive response to that logo that I wanted to go ahead and put it on some other stuff. So I actually opened up a Society6 shop because Society6, if you guys don't know, allows artists to go ahead and put their art online and then you can print it on things like mugs, rugs, canvases, pillows, tote bags, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and put my hashtag author life logo onto quite a few different products and I'm gonna show you right now. So here it is, it's society6.com slash author Kristen Martin. You can get things like laptop skins, iPad cases, canvases, mugs, rugs. I do have pillows. I would not order this one because it's cut off. This is the normal throw pillow, but there is this rectangular pillow down here. So I would definitely order that one instead. I don't know why this one's showing up. I did not enable it and I've been trying to get rid of it and it's not going away. So just a heads up, that's not going to print with the full author life. So I would just ignore that one until I can figure out how to get it off of my store but also mugs, like I said, laptop sleeves, travel mugs. I am still working on getting this logo on a t-shirt. I actually did not use Society6 the first time. I printed the t-shirt, I used a different company, so Society6 is giving me a little bit of a hard time getting the logo all ready for the t-shirt. But as soon as I have it done, I'll be sure to let you guys know and that'll be up on my store as soon as it's available. It's probably going to take about two weeks since we are heading into the new year and it's back to work 
and all of that fun stuff. But make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I will leave all of those right here like I normally do because that is the quickest way to find out when the shirts are going to go live on my store. So I would love for you to check it out and go get yourself some hashtag author life goodies. Again, it's society6.com slash author Kristen Martin and I will leave the link right here. I will also leave it in the description box below. So I originally was going to film the New Year's Eve party in this vlog, but it's kind of becoming too long and so I think I'm gonna break it up into two vlogs. Hooray! <laughs> but it is the day before the party so it's friday and we just had some deliveries come in so i just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we were planning on using and decorating for our 1920s themed new year's eve party and then in the next vlog you'll be able to see all of it kind of put together and all that good stuff so that might be a much shorter vlog i don't know we'll see what happens but i just don't think i'm going to be able to fit it into this one and i'm just so excited about my society six store opening up and so i want to get this vlog up as soon as possible so that i can announce it but right now i'm going to show you some of the things that we got for our new year's eve party okay so jonathan did buy some signs this one says gangster speakeasy what does it say <laughs> Machine Gun Alley, but there are some other ones on here like Bugsy's Jazz Club, Bathtub Gin Joint. So those are fun little gangster signs. He also got a puff cigar and this is a fake cigar. He also got Drinking Roulette, which looks like fun. Obviously a nice poker set with some poker chips. And then we do have an old school record player. So we did buy another Lana Del Rey album. We do have two of the other ones, but we're looking for 1920s music, but Amazon Prime does not have something where they can ship it to us within two days. So we'll probably just find a playlist on Pandora or Spotify and then use our speaker here for the music. Back here you can see we do have some of the alcohol. I also have more alcohol over here and champagne. And in here we have a bunch of stuff. So Jonathan did find this drunk, stoned, or stupid. It's a party game, we have no idea what that's gonna be like, but we decided to buy it. This is actually going to be the prize for the best dressed. It's an umbrella flask. Thought that was pretty clever. I bought some more smaller poker chips just in case he couldn't find any on Amazon. So we're going to make like a champagne tower out of these. So I'm really excited to do that tomorrow. All right, we got a 2017 gold foil balloon. I wanna to try to set up a photo booth, so I bought some fun props that people could use to have like a photo booth as a fun keepsake of the party. Feathers, I think those will look cute as accent pieces and also in mason jars. I don't have the mason jars in here because I had some extras. I did get a balloon pump so that we can have gold and black balloons hanging from the ceiling. So here's a lot of those gold and black balloons. And I also did buy the string for that too. So those are gonna be hanging up at the top. I have a whole vision for it. So that's why I wanna film it when we actually do it all. Some playing cards, some pearls. These will be perfect to kind of string along the ceiling and on the lights. I think it'll give it a really nice 1920s look. Then we got these black foil fringe curtains, which will be in the entryway. So that is the majority of what we have for the party for decorations, but I'm taking, we're walking in my closet, it's really dark. So I'm taking in my closet now so I can show you the dress that I'm gonna wear. I'm so excited about it. I bought it a while ago for a different party and then that party ended up not happening. So this is what it looks like, it's so cute. I don't know if you can see the bead detailing, it's not really focusing on it, but yeah, this is the dress. I also found this really fun headpiece. It's gonna be so perfect. I'm planning on wearing my hair kind of down and low to the side in a messy sort of bun and then I'll have this headpiece kind of wrapped around it. As you can see, it just goes really well together. Honestly, I didn't even buy these things for this party specifically. This was just something random that I had. And like I said, I bought that dress for a party that ended up never happening. So I'm so excited because I get to wear it now and it's gonna be so awesome and I literally cannot wait. Oh, and totally random, but we recently redid the faucets in our house for free and we got all of these on sale. They look so good now. So we have these nice dark bronze faucets. You can see that in our bathroom. And then in the kitchen, we 
got this really amazing faucet. So for those of you that don't know, Jonathan is in construction and he's also a plumber. So he knows how to do all this stuff. So instead of spending, you know, a grand on getting the plumbing fixtures and then having someone come in and install them, I got all these plumbing fixtures for literally half off. We spent a total of $200. I mean, look how nice this, this is so nice. I am obsessed with it and it goes with our kitchen so well. I don't know if you guys noticed before, but I had these really ugly silver, like chrome colored faucets. They came with the house and they were just crappy. So really excited about that. We're kind of doing little home renovations here and there. Next thing will be to paint all of our doors black and we're gonna really get into painting and getting our whole, our whole house done up and fixed for 2017. I'm really excited about it. But Jonathan should be on his way home from work right now, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here because otherwise I think this vlog is going to be way too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Society6 store. Again, you can find the link in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.